I bring all the greetings and best wishes from the entire uh, Speed uh, Institute and all the faculties from Speed Institute to Dr. Uh, Abhishek Tandon for scoring uh, rank number four uh, in AIMS November 2020 uh, in the speciality of DM Pulmonology. And best wishes to you. Best wishes to you. And Thanks. it's a great and wonderful uh, achievement. And uh, we want to know from you uh, your background from where you started, where you did your medicine, a precise history, and uh, from which place you belong to, which medical college you study, where you did you your post graduation. And uh, why pulmonology? I, I belong to Lucknow and I did my MBBS from uh, Kasturba Medical College. I, I'm, I'm from the batch of 2011 and I finished my MBBS in 2017. Then uh, I did my MD in uh, respiratory medicine from Pandit P.D. Sharma PGIMS Rotak. And I joined there in 2017 and I finished just a couple of months ago in uh, uh, September. Okay. And uh, now so I... September you finished and uh, straight <laughs> straight you uh, are into AIMS for pulmonology. Yes, yes. such a yes. Uh, wonderful timing, huh? wonderful timing and uh, and really really good and uh, why you why you took just medicine I mean, I mean before pulmonology pulmonology comes as a speciality right? but your field is already decided to go for uh, chest medicine md chest medicine why uh, sir uh, during my uh, mbbs days i uh, i had a lot of inclination towards medicine but uh, when uh, i decided to uh, i initially decided to take general medicine when I was reading for my uh, PG uh, course, but then there was this uh, pressure that once you take MD uh, medicine, you have to go for DM. So I decided I'd rather settle for uh, uh, a subspeciality and I took uh, respiratory medicine. But once I got into respiratory medicine, I realized it's it's an ocean and an MD here also wouldn't be enough. So uh, anyway, I had the story, to prepare. The story has not ended there. The story has not ended. The story, the story is definitely not ended, sir. So, uh, during my second year only, I realized that I would have, I should go for a DM in this particular field also, because uh, it was required, and I started preparing for that. And I, this was my first uh, AIMS exam ever. I, I never have given an AIMS exam before, before this, even for my PG or for my UG, because I got into NEET. So then, once I got into NEET, I never gave my AIMS exam and. Because I just finished, this was my first AIMS exam, and uh, with with the grace of the Almighty, the first one went really well. <laughs> now, uh, what about the NEET exam? Did you mean were you eligible to take a NEET exam? NEET. Uh, yes, I wrote the NEET exam, but uh, my rank was not very good. It was forty-five. Uh, forty-five. Yes, sir. Okay. So, I uh, mean, forty-five rank, you have chances, right? I, I do have chances, but so I wouldn't get the colleges that I want. Uh, so uh, that I don't think I'll be pursuing. What were you aiming at? What were you aiming at actually? Which college you are looking for? In need, in all India. In need, uh, through all India, so there were three colleges that I was uh, targeting. I was targeting SGPGI Lucknow, and I was targeting uh, Savdarjang in New Delhi, and uh, PJMS Rotak. These were the only three colleges that I was targeting, and but I don't think uh, at my rank I'll get any of these three colleges. Sir. So I I won't be pursuing with the counselling as far as NEET is concerned. Uh, and now, anyways, that I have got into AIMS, I don't think I should even. <laughs> you not even think about it, right? You not even no. think. Yes. Yes. So. So uh, you were not settling with uh, forty-five and available uh, seats in. <laughs> Uh, need and uh, I mean why is that urge that to I mean to go further because in India we all of us know that the case load in any of the government institutions is so high and it's uh, massive and uh, of course institute make a difference in uh, in the management and treatment protocol and outlook is different but still you could have managed with your uh, DM degree uh, in any of the institutions and why is that an urge to go further? Sir, so the, the, the issue was that uh, uh, respiratory medicine being a very new field, 
uh, not all the institutes which are running the DM program have the necessary infrastructure which uh, which can help me develop uh, my profession further. So uh, these the three institutes that I named are one of the premier uh, are uh, the premier institutes and they have all the facilities, all the latest uh, infrastructure, all the latest equipments that. Uh, one should uh, know as far as the field of pulmonology is concerned. And uh, as, uh, now it's not just pulmonary medicine, it's pulmonary critical care and sleep medicine. So we need to have a holistic approach of uh, pulmonology, critical care and uh, sleep. So that was one thing which I, uh, which uh, which prompted me actually to take up DM because uh, I felt that my uh, competency level was not up to the mark once I completed my MD. And that was the reason I did not settle for that rank and I kept on reading. So, what was your association? How do you get into speed? I mean, what, how, I mean, what was uh, uh, the point? When did you start your preparation? We want to know something about your preparation. Actually, when you start your preparation, what all you prepared? How you uh, got this EP5 to 4? Uh, during, uh, uh, during my MD, I realized that I should uh, prepare for NEET. So by the end of second year, I decided that I will go for, uh, for the uh, DM program. And I started reading uh, around uh, September uh, in 2019. And uh, I started, uh, I, I, dis I divided my uh, preparation into three parts, uh, pulmonology, critical care, and sleep. So pulmonology and sleep were taken care of by that is our basic but as far as critical medicine is concerned, sir, uh, Pulmon uh, Fishman's last edition came out in 2015. So critical care is not that much updated uh, in uh, Fishman. So I read uh, critical care from Harrison. Then uh, uh, as far as uh, speed is concerned, so, uh, there, there's completely a dearth of uh, MCQs uh, in uh, pulmonology. And uh, I tried finding a lot of uh, books, but I failed. I could not find even a single source of uh, MCQs. So I heard about uh, 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 Speed's uh, MCQ program from uh, one of my seniors who had also subscribed to it and he really uh, praised the program. So I uh, subscribed to uh, the Speed app earlier this year. Uh, and When was that? I subscribed it in April, sir. Okay. I subscribed it in April. And uh, the, the main focus was uh, I used to read from the textbook and then I used to come and uh, uh, attempt these questions. And uh, Speed gave me very good 700 to 800 questions with uh, proper references from Harrison and Fishman. And it helped me in two ways. Firstly, uh, whatever I had read uh, and when I used to solve those MCQs, uh, I used to uh, re-revise uh, those topics. And secondly, uh, while I was doing the MCQs, I, I realized that there are certain topics which I had never read because I did not find them important enough. But uh, with those MCQs, I, I thought maybe because the MCQs are there, they are important. I went back to the textbook and I read those topics and it actually helped. Sir. It actually helped. I, uh, there, were, there were two questions. I don't know whether I should say that or not. They were directly uh, there in the paper from the speed app. So mm. that, that was really uh, good. <laughs> uh, I mean, what, I mean uh, what difference it makes out of uh, 100 questions? Two questions, what difference it makes? It makes all the difference, right? It makes all the difference. Uh, it makes all the difference. Uh, it all makes all the difference. Because these are fractions of uh, marks, I mean, which changes a huge rank list. Uh, agree, and sir. one question they always say, one question can make a difference. It does, sir. Like the person who is uh, above me, rank three, is just point three marks ahead of me. So uh, one question being of uh, one mark, it makes a lot of difference. In case of NEET and in case of um, AIMS, uh, we have uh, in AIMS and hundred questions in um, NEET. Uh, I just want to know from you when you took a NEET exam, sixty could have been would have been definitely from uh, the superficiality of pulmonology in freshman, and forty could be from where. Can you tell me 40, where all it was asked? Sir, uh, the 40 questions were further divided into uh, medicine, pediatrics and uh, respiratory medicine. So uh, there were approximately, you could say there were 13 questions from medicine. There were 13 questions from pediatrics and uh, there were 13 or 14 questions from respiratory medicine. Uh, 
the questions that were there in uh, respiratory medicine were not from Harrison, were from Fishman as well. And the remaining 26, 27 questions were from Harrison. As far as pediatrics is concerned, uh, uh, the core pediatrics was not asked, like uh, the milestones or the development uh, uh, plethoras weren't asked. Uh, they were very general questions, which uh, are also there in uh, our medicine textbooks, like, uh, for example, a tetralogy of phthalate uh, was asked or uh, vitamin and uh, mineral deficiencies were asked. So, so uh, I, I never read pediatrics per se, separately. Um, and whatever medicine I read helped me solve those uh, pediatric questions also. And as far as AIMS is concerned, uh, I don't think they have a specific pattern. Uh, they'll ask you anything from medicine, pediatrics, uh, critical care and sleep and pulmonology. So as far as uh, AIMS exam is concerned, we'll have to read uh, uh, all these uh, topics and there's no uh, division as to how many questions each subpart will uh, give you. What did you feel in AIMS? Were the 80 questions predominantly from Harrison or from Fishman? Or what was the ratio? If in, that you could say, aspirants doing it. Uh, in AIMS, sir, uh, mostly I would say more than 75% of questions were from Harrison. As far as Fishman is concerned, okay. uh, the questions that were there, the 20-25% were directly pickups from the table of Fishman. And but uh, as far as the, yeah. But as far as the uh, the main chunk of question is concerned, it's from Harrison in Ames. Uh, in NEAT, it's completely different. The major chunk of questions is from Fishman and only a small part comes from Harrison. So that is a little bit, yeah, so that is a bit tricky, sir. Like we have to uh, prepare according to the exam that we are giving and prepare accordingly. So that means in NEAT, you have 60 exclusive from Fishman plus 13 uh, from Fishman. So that becomes almost 73. Close to 73 to 75, and the rest becomes for general medicine in Harrison and from pediatrics. And uh, here in Ames, it definitely, definitely the other way around. Predominantly, it comes from Harrison and less from Fishman. Yeah. yeah. Did you give uh, any other exam, PGI, uh, JIPMAR, any other exam? Did you? No, sir. JIPMAR doesn't have DM pulmonology seats. Uh, I'm sorry. Yes, sir. I have given uh, PGMAR Chandigarh. The result of that hasn't come yet. And I've also given a SGPGI's uh, Intervention Pulmonology Fellowship exam. I have secured an All India rank of one in that also. How much? I've, I've secured How an All India rank of... Uh, uh, in SGPGI, sir, they have their own uh, Intervention Pulmonology Fellowship program. So that's also an All India exam. And I've secured an All India rank of one in that particular exam as well. Rank one. Yes, sir. Oh, congratulations. That, uh, that I didn't know. Uh, and it's really great. Now, I mean, that is a fellowship program, right? Yes, sir, it's a fellowship. Is that a fellowship program? Yeah, it's a, a two-year program. Uh, it's a one-year program, so it's a fellowship in intervention pulmonology. So you have uh, things in hand, a lot of things in hand. What next? So I mean, it's all uh, ready. When is when is that kind of a admission? When when are you going to join? When is the dates are announced? Uh, so we have to report to uh, AIMS uh, before the twenty-second of December. And uh, the last date of joining is 15th of uh, January. And the session starts from the 1st of January. So I'm planning to go uh, next week and uh, at least uh, report and then uh, ask them for some time and then join uh, eventually in the first week of January. Sir. I'm, I'm, I'm really happy and I'm really happy and also I'm happy to see you happy. I mean, that's, that's very, <laughs> that sense of um, uh, relief and happiness uh, is there. That means, I mean, what do you want to achieve uh, that? Okay, fine. It's there. So that means it's really good uh, to have something like that in hand. I'm, I'm really happy uh, interacting with you because uh, talking to you have given a lot of insight to further plan and to group those videos now uh, in for pulmonology. I thought only pulmonology and medicine. Now, uh, then we, after talking to you and uh, toppers, I mean, the, the people who do the program will definitely know now to put pediatrics in place, chest medicine in place. So we need to bundle it and so that it can help the students. So, and uh, what do you want to, uh, the last word, what do you want to tell to all the aspirants for pulmonology? So what do you want to tell them? Uh, I just want to uh, tell them that uh, if, if they've decided that they want to go from uh, for a DM program, they should not be in two minds. If you've decided, you should start as soon as you decide that you want to go from a DM uh, for a DM program. 
and read every day even if you if you don't get a time to read because of your hectic duties read for like 15 minutes read for 20 minutes but do read uh, don't skip a day and uh, skip use and uh, because we don't have any textbook i would recommend personally because i did that i would recommend you to go through these 700 800 uh, mcqs from speed and you can do that while you are reading and uh, don't forget to focus also on medicine a, a very common mistake which uh, pulmonology aspirants do is they don't read medicine at all and they feel that in need if 70% uh, of the uh, syllabus is uh, pulmonary medicine and we only focus on pulmonary medicine we'll make through you cannot because each question matters and each mark matters. And even for NEET this year, there were some 12 to 13 people on the same mark of 272 or 273. So each and every question will matter. So you have to read comprehensively. Okay. Once again, I bring uh, all the wishes to you for a great journey in pulmonology, in the field of pulmonology. And to Mark as a great personality, the Robbie Sheikh. Max a great personality in the field of pulmonology in years to come. And uh, we are definitely looking forward for that. And wholehearted wishes personally from me and also from the entire uh, team of speed to you. God bless Thank you. you. Thank you so and, much. And go ahead, do all that you want and be happy. And wishes to you and to all your family and friends. Thank you yes. so much. Thank, Thank you so very much. much. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you.